And I'm gonna do the thing where I jump up. Is it, is it on? Is it recording? Hey, everybody, it's your boy. Dude was shell shock. Holy shit, that was loud. Hey everybody, it's your boy Dude with Dan, and we're back at again with the ambulance build series. Today we're converting, converting, well, you know, we've been converting an ambulance uh, that we bought off of Facebook Marketplace into an RV. My buddy uh, sold his house, he wants to live on the road, do his media networking stuff in an ambulance. So we have to do a lot of electrical stuff on this build, that's what we're going into today, you feel me? We're kind of getting ready to tackle the electrical nightmare that we have going on for us. And it's not really that bad, but I've never done any wiring like this before, so it's all new to me. Let's we'll start from ground one. The first thing that we have, whoa, wait a second. Before we show off what we got for the ambulance, we do have a sponsor for today's video. Are you a mass battler? Cause I'll tell you what, I am a mass battler. Thank you Battle Legions for sponsoring today's video. Battle Legion is a game that is both available on iOS and Android and is in the description for you to click on. So use that little link, it's free. This is a mass battle strategy game. It's all about unit composition. Deciding 100 versus 100 unit player versus player game. You choose what units you want to use, then watch your battle unfold. There's a ton of unique units, a bunch of fun mechanics, which are all customizable and upgradable with custom skins and power stones. PvP mode, skirmish battles, bounty hunting mini missions, and epic clan battles. There's new game modes coming, new ranks, new upgrades, new skins, and the community has a very active Discord server. They do weekly streams on YouTube. And with the new clan raid battles, you and your homies can beat up giant bosses together. I died? That doesn't seem like me. But you know what, don't just take my word for it. Please check it out for yourself. Again, it's free, it's in the description. Click my link, only use my link. Don't use any of these other YouTubers links. I mean, I'm special, God loves me, not them. But when you do use that link, it directly helps support me. I don't get any money back every time you click the link or anything like that. But it does show that you guys are helping support me and then they come back to me and do more ads so I can do more cool stuff. You know how this works. Thank you again, Battle Legions, for sponsoring today's video and supporting me and my channel and, and my, my homies. You guys support my homies directly by supporting this. It's all good. I appreciate you guys and it's Time we get back on with the video. Let's go. Is right here. This is ridiculously heavy, ridiculously powerful inverter charger. The particular brand is Sun Gold Power. I don't think we should really talk about the brand that much because I've been trying to get contact them about some questions I have about wiring, and they haven't emailed me back yet. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of tech support available for these things. So do your research. Also, the pictures and photos never line up as far as what designs on on it or branding. They all change randomly. It's, it's it all seems like it's owned by the same company that just keeps changing the look of them over and over again. Um, this particular one is a big boy. It's a 4,000 watt, it's 4,000 watt? A 4,000 watt 12 volt with a 12,000 watt peak. That means this bad boy will sustain 12,000 watts for 90 seconds. We hopefully never use that. And the reason why we went with such a beefy setup, because I think most people run at max 2,500, 3,000. You know, and, and those are all like double load capacity max, right? So there'll be like a 3,000 watt inverter and they'll be able to hold six. No, 12,000 watts, bitch. Oh my God, that's like, that's gotta be 80 pounds. It's gotta be 80 pounds. Uh, one thing I found out that this thing, I don't think supports 120 volt input, you know, short power. It only does 240 volt single phase. So it does split phase too, but I don't really know what that fucking means. So I think we have to use a step up. I, I know you and I talked about this a little bit, Ham. I think we have to use like a step up to go from 110 to 240 or 115 or 120, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same shit. Yeah, so short power or input, your AC input on this bitch needs to be 240, which they didn't advertise until we got it. Oh, this isn't even ground one. We didn't talk about the batteries, right? What's the batteries? Oh yeah, they're over here. There are two 200 amp hour batteries. Yeah. Lead acid. I technically have a third one because uh, they were delivered and they were beat the fuck, but this is uh 130 pounds. Oh man. This is one of them. Yeah, that's heavy as fuck. They're 200 amp hour, so together we'll have 400 amp hour uh, lead acid sealed deep cycle batteries, right? Yeah. People are gonna be like, don't set your batteries on the floor, it drains them. Dude, that is old school shit. Batteries are way better, it's not true. Power inverter, then we have a couple different fuse boxes here. We have a, a circuit panel slash fuse box. This box accepts alternating current and direct current. There's a difference, ask me about it later. Now we have, uh, we also have some like side small panels. I got these because I think we can use these for like the LEDs. You know how we have like the spotlights and stuff? I don't wanna muck up our, our DC fuse board with a bunch of lights. So we'll, we'll probably put all the LED lights, all the light bars and stuff like that on this one and we'll probably use this one for uh rgb lights that we're going to use to light up the entire ambulance people have no faith in me people have zero faith and i understand why they would because of the certain questions that they asked but they're like damn we can't help but notice you guys didn't cut any holes for lights on the ceiling there's not going to be any ceiling lights uh, that's because diode dynamics has sent us like three thousand dollars worth of lighting shout out to diode we got we got a ton of these spotlights these six inch light bars that we'll all have to run 
And then this box is full of RGB strips and RGB controllers. Uh, we're gonna use RGB strip lighting to light up the entire ambulance, but all hidden. So it'll be like basically all adjustable ambient lighting. You won't even look at the LEDs. There won't be lampshades. There'll be like trim lighting and everything uh, that I know about lighting, which is a lot. It teaches me that we won't need it in this amount of space. Because look at this one light bar here. Not to say that this is amazing lighting, but this one little light bar does consume the entire ambulance. Um, solar, we have solar panels, how many? 800 watts? We have four. 800 watts. Yeah, four, four, 200. four 200 watts. So we have 800 watts of solar, which means we need a solar uh, charger controller. This is pretty simple. You just run one side of the battery, one side to the uh, solar panels. Bluetooth controller so we can see uh, how the batteries are charging, how the solar panel is doing. Uh, we have a lot of like Bluetooth sensors that we'll be using to monitor all the systems. That's boring. You guys don't want to hear about that. You guys want to see me do stupid stuff and break stuff. Like I'm a fucking monkey. Like I'm a circus clown. Fucking dance and sing and juggle. Well, guess what? I can't juggle, all right? You know what? Also, we have the water heater. Four gallon, I believe. Mm -hmm. Four some odd gallon. Water goes in. Uh, you heat it up electrically. And then this is really simple. This is our fan. This is the vent fan that's gonna, you know, when he farts in it, it's gonna smell really bad. So he's gonna need like a vent. DC, super simple. And then the last thing I think that we have that's really big, other than the outlets, which we still need to go get, we need to buy those, is uh, the, this is the air conditioner mount where the, the AC mounts up. I'm not really positive that the wire that I used, that I ran in the ambulance is, is thick enough now that I've done my research on like the wire gauge, which is important by the way. The thickness of your wire is very important and there's math to it and I'll go over that probably at the end of the video so that you guys can understand it. But I don't think the wire that I used on the ambulance is thick enough so I'll have to uh, 10 gauge, 12 gauge, I don't know. Oh, the refrigerator. This is a refrigerator. No, I don't even think you could get a dead body in there. Even if you were to like liquefy, I'm talking about like with acid or maybe like chopping into like the smallest fillet bits. There's no way you could get a dead body in there. This is such a funny joke. Ha 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 ha. Uh -huh. Is it? Do a Hitchcock zoom on it. Can you do a Hitchcock zoom on the Wiggly Boy? Make it look like a bad guy? Is it hard to focus on? What if I put it against a white backdrop? You like zoom out as you come in. Yeah, there we go. Make it look like a bad guy. <laughs> and it also works off of AC or DC. Yeah, well, we're gonna run DC. Cause this has to be on no matter what anyways. Yeah, you need it to be cool. So like at, at the least, and I think there's an off switch. So if you don't want it on, you can switch it off. Sure. We need to get the solar panels out and start looking at those and seeing like what our what our wiring is gonna do, right? That's what we should do. In my family. Sure. Follow me. Yeah. Look at me, I'm doing dance. It's hard for me to open boxes cause I'm 12. That went well. Like, like Jeff Bridges and Iron Man. <laughs> I mean, um, true grit. But no, he sits down after Tony Stark is all like, I'm not making weapons no more. And he sits down at the table, he's like, that went well. Might as well still be in the true grit character. <laughs> Man, these look really pretty. We should put like a sheet of metal over, right? So you don't step on them? Yeah, sure. Man, my solar just ain't charging. I don't suppose the kit came with these extra wirings, did it? Unlimited solar. Joins all the the one that I said, hey, it's right here, and I should. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did you. that. Where'd you go? It's right here. What'd you do if I threw it to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you put that thing you gave me? Here comes Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> it was open the whole time. Oh shit! Very simple. How this box works. Many wires come in. Only one come out. It does very good. I'll trade you my box of wires for your finest cow. Laura's been on to me because I guess since we've been in, been from Texas, I've been saying I tell you what a lot, which I don't know if it's necessarily my fault because when she goes to bed, sometimes she lays Hulu on and I'll come to bed and King of the Hill will be playing and I'll be like, God dang it, Bobby, wah. God dang it, Bobby, I just was selling propane and propane accessories, <sighs> making little Asian babies on my bed. God dang. I can't do Boom Hour anymore. The internet should really hear, we should make a video about Laura's impression of Zoidberg. She, what she do? She came out doing something with the oven the other day. She's like, woo, 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 woo. And I was like, what is that? Pac Man? And she's like, that's my Zoidberg impression. And the wag cables come in, they attach to this, and then they go out. Very simple. What's the ohms on zip ties? Like six. It's got like 12. I guess what we'll do is we'll start mounting the uh, the panels, the, the, the panels where they're going to go. They'll be removable. But uh, we do have a false wall here, like a uh, probably like three or four inches. And I say what we do is we take our fuse box and recess it into that wall, and then we'll run the cables from the battery and whatnot up here into the fuse box. Seems easy, right? Gotta cut more holes. 
Got more holes, still cutting. Still cutting. Well, I should probably just tape measure before we do this. All right, so this is about where we're gonna put the fuse panel, like a false wall here with like three or four inches of space behind it that we're gonna cut into a little bit so we can recess the panel just a little bit, uh, but we're gonna build a wood frame around it. Then we'll do our measurements, but we'll just recess the whole panel. More cutting. And we'll use a, we'll use a little bit of wood to build a, uh, like a square box around this. And this will be underneath the computer desk, so it'll be like totally accessible. <laughs> Searching a thingamajig that eats metal. Probably need the sawzall anyway, so I'll take that as well. You can never underestimate the, the need of a good sawzall. Thanks. Got any wires going back there? I should probably check that first. As long as they stay out of the way. Smells good in here, don't it? Mm. Like, I know I only have two of these. I need more of these, but this has been like super helpful buying these things. Eight and a quarter plus one. So good. Around the box. Yeah. 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 Man, see me. I'll just sit like that. And that forces this to be as square as physically possible. Yeah. That was good. Obviously we'll uh, you know we'll take it down and paint it and like smooth out the edges and whatnot, but that's a good little frame, nice and flush. Electrical box, that's uh, that's ready to be wired. Let's go grab the batteries and see if they lay end to end here. I think they will. We wanna keep the inverter and the batteries really close together, uh, mostly because of how many amps we'll be able to run. With the power that we have, we definitely want to lose as little power as possible, the biggest wire and the shortest distance, so. Oh, cool. It fits really well. We can definitely fit a second battery in here. That's what we're gonna do. <sighs> da, na, 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 na. They're 130 pounds a piece? Yeah. I washed the suspension thoroughly. I don't think we're having any issues with the weight being over here because we'll have the proper counterbalances, but. Is it, oh, is it recording? Hi, so we got the main circuit panel in here. This does do AC and DC, uh, but I don't want to muck up his main DC panel with all the exterior lighting and RGB lighting and stuff we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do an interior lighting and an exterior lighting personal fuse box for direct current. Uh, and then they'll each have their own set of uh, wires to go in and out. Well, we probably should move the inverter and batteries now because I'm about to start doing some like cutting. Cutting, yeah. Reference, you're not supposed to run a file both ways usually unless it's like specially cut to run a file both ways But since this is aluminum, it's not gonna dull the blades. It's gonna gump them up a little bit, but it's not gonna dull them North Carolina, come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. Throw it around like a helicopter. You remember that shit? Who was that? The helicopter song. I don't know the helicopter song. <laughs> I've never heard of the helicopter song. You never heard of shit. It's not Nelly. Hope no, not. Petey Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit when I was in middle school, man. So we got we got most of our electrical stuff ready to go. We just keep on keeping on. Booty, 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 rocket everywhere. Motherfucker, wiggle in.
Look at that. You won't even have the cables coming out from Ooh. that shit. the insulation that'll be good. Yeah, I'll pop it up enough. Technically the first framing piece, I guess. This is technically the first framing piece. Now what? What? Now what? Now what? Alright, so I'm doing the editing for the video, and I realized that I didn't go over the wiring like I said in the beginning of the video. So if you're interested in that, this is what this is for. This is strictly like information probably. At least what I've found so far, I try really hard to make sure I don't sound like I, I know everything when I don't. But as far as like content is concerned, the end of the video was like 30 seconds ago. This is just for people who are interested in like the build process and want to see like the wiring and stuff. And mostly I want to show this off. Um, so this is my diagram I've been working on for the ambulance. And I do plan on eventually converting this over to like a PDF. And and stylizing it, make it nice and, and clean rather than just drawing stuff. Print it out, label it for him so he'll always have that and it'll always be there for him in case he needs it. But if you paid attention today in the video, you know that you know we got the batteries, power charger inverters, uh, solar charger, solar panels, conjunction box, AC-DC box, lights, air vents, air conditioner, fridge, water heater, RGB strips, and then outlets. So that's gonna be kind of the wiring makeup of this particular van. But I, I talked about wiring and I'm still learning about wiring. I've been learning about wiring for like three weeks now and I'm exhausted about learning about wiring. And because because there's a bunch of shit. Why there's two wire and there's three wire, but there's a ground wire that's not insulated. I don't know what the fuck that's about. And one of the things that's really important to know if you're wiring anything is how much current is gonna be going through it, you know, how much amps you're gonna be drawing. So um, I do, I've built this little chart here and this is based off of stuff that I could collect online, but all this stuff, if you know how to find it, is publicly available. Here's what I've come up with based off of other people's information and charts and whatnot and this seems to be a pretty standard chart for wire amperage so if you're running a 15 amp circuit or you're doing anything with 15 amp draw you want a minimum of 14 gauge wire for 25 feet and less and if you have to go over 25 feet you know, say to 50 feet you have to bump up to 12 gauge and then at 100 feet you have to have 10 gauge it's a very simple scaling 
and I suggest you look it up and don't take my word for it. Never just take my word for stuff. If you ever question me, research that shit. Come back to me and tell me I'm wrong. I absolutely love that shit. And I think as far as I can tell, nothing in the ambulance that will be running will require anything more than 30 amps, and which we'll be using in our main breaker as like the breaker box. We'll be using a 30 amp breaker for the whole box and then probably 15s and 20s for certain plugs. And there's certain things that I had to know, like how many amps certain products were using, like the air conditioner, for instance. And for the most part, this information is pretty readily available. You can figure out exactly how much your air conditioner is gonna draw or how much your water pump is gonna do, usually simply by Googling it. But in the off chance that there isn't, you gotta be able to calculate that. So, so to calculate amps, you need watts divided by volts. So for instance, Ham's air conditioner pumps out 1,620 watts and it operates at 115 volts. Do the math, boom, that's 14 amps. Okay, great, that's what the air conditioner is gonna use, right, 14 amps? It's a little bit trickier than that. You never wanna go as small as physically possible because you need to scale your wire for peak wattage. Just because the air conditioner operates around 1600 watts doesn't mean that's where it peaks. I believe the rule of thumb is 125%. That's what electrical buddies have told me, that's what I've been able to find out online. 125% of your wires capability, which means I'm gonna go ahead and bump that wire up to 12 gauge. But that's not the point here, because I'm not a tutorial guy. I'm not here to teach you how to do stuff exactly. I wanna show you guys my process and how I came to my conclusions, so you guys can kind of do that on your own. Because anybody can just copy step by step, and that's there's no fun in that. But I don't wanna leave you guys out on stuff that's important. So what I will say, if you're wiring your own stuff and you're doing your own electricity, you need to figure out how much pull you're gonna be using, how much power you're gonna be drawing. But wire thickness is very important, because if you overpower these wires, they'll burn and you won't know about it until it's on fire. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys have any advice, please leave them in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, I will be in the comments also trying to answer uh, whatever I can for you guys. Hopefully other people that I'm sure, you know, it's a YouTube video so all the electrical professionals will come out of the woodworks and correct the wrong stuff, which is, it's always good. Like I say that kind of snarky, but like at the same time, the ones who do know what they're talking about are actually helpful. In the next video, which will be coming out pretty soon, we're doing the framing of the ambulance. I'm editing that part too. That'll hopefully come like tomorrow or the next day or something like that. But, but yeah, we're, we're making a lot of progress on this ambulance guys and we're gonna keep it cooking. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.